What's up guys, this is going to be an unboxing video and review of a Cinch Gaming controller. So, if you don't know what a Cinch Gaming controller is, it's pretty much a controller with buttons on the back, as you'll see. And yeah, it's just meant, so I mean, if you can't play claw in a video game, then you can press X and circle while you don't have to press it with your pointer finger. So, um, I actually have been using this controller for about a week. It's not like a true unboxing, but I still have the box and everything exactly how it was so i'm just gonna go over that because i wanted to make a video on it so let's get into it all right guys so this is the box you will get after you slice open the other box that you get from ups or wherever you got it shipped from so right when you get this i mean it's very easy you just open it up hold on let me get this open all right, so right when you open it up, it's going to say, well, this would be flipped around. <laughs> it's going to say, congratulations, you are now the owner of a synth game controller. No one cares. So, yeah, here's the controller in the plastic molding. All right. So, yep, as you can see, buttons on the back. And it looks very nice. It has a nice rainbow color on the back of the controller like on the cinch gaming words and it looks nice i got the carbon fiber and i don't know gold i guess you can call it and blacked out buttons so here it is guy this is what you get when you order a cinch okay so i got hair triggers and if like i mean i you really cannot tell the difference between this and a mouse click so i mean like they sound identical and I didn't get them on the bottom ones, but they do, they really do feel like a mouse click if you're wondering, so it does work. All right, so now that we got our controller unboxed, we can pretty much get into the review part of the video. So uh, the buttons, main reason why you guys came here, uh, they sound very nice. I mean, they're not cheap. It's a $200 controller. It sounds nice like it should be. And like I said, the hair triggers or mouse triggers sound very nice exactly like a mouse click it is what you want and yeah in my opinion it's way better than a scuff i mean the paddles like they're gonna be sitting right here i mean i've used a scuff and it's kind of uncomfortable the buttons you don't even notice they're there they're just sitting there and they're nice they work perfectly so uh yeah basically this controller is if like you can't play claw i mean if you can't press x and circle and shoot at the same time or whatever then you're gonna need these because i mean you need to jump and i guess yeah i mean i play claw anyway so it's gonna work this is how my controller would sit i can press all the buttons but if you had a problem with pressing jump and circle while you're playing like some people can't do that they just play like this then you're gonna need a cinch so i mean yeah that's really it to it so i guess or if i or if you have a problem like if you can't press jump and you like reach the bottom trigger at the same time like me that's why i play with the top ones i mean it's a problem i mean you're gonna need a cinch like i can't aim straight in call of duty while my i can barely reach x and shoot at the same time so i had to play with the top ones i mean i i did for a little while but i mean this fixed it all now i don't even have to press it at all i can just do this but i could do it anyway if i wanted to but for most people out there they can't play claw so they're just yeah, they're going to need this to hopefully get better. So I guess now that that's said, we'll get into a Call of Duty match or something and just I'll tell you guys how it works and feels or whatever. All right, so we're hopping into a, a pub match of Hardpoint real quick to show you guys the controller. Just a quick gameplay. Uh, not really much to it. Nothing you're really going to see from this gameplay, but I'm only going to be jumping and sliding with these buttons and show you guys how it really does help you play. I mean... It's going to look like a normal guy playing, but, I mean, I'm using these buttons for your entertainment, I guess. So, I'll see you guys when I load into the match. Alright, so we just got into a uh, match on Miami, I guess, so we're going to be going. Sorry if the mic is a little loud or you can't hear the game. I don't remember the vibe, right, but we're only coming to the point located. It's needed. Take the gameplay. objective. Him on, no reduce. And apparently I have it on the fucking tight. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucked up. Damn. 
actually press the cinch button right there. Don't yeah, come forward, I shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> Damn. Hard point lockdown. Oh, one's in the room right next to it. Oh, very nice. Lost. Hard point is secure. No problems with the slide. One's on camping though. upstairs. Apparently. Hard point lost. Easily whenever I want to. Hard point Can't located. Hostiles have captured the hard point. We are losing this oh, fight. Shit, huh? Yeah, they're a little better than that last group we played. Yeah. Where did he come from? <laughs> Alright. Enemy spike plane inbound. Ah, first game on, y'all. Not trying to impress no one. Female enemy removed. He said he one shot me. He didn't even shoot at me. He was out of me was saying I one shot you. That's but... a kill. I mean, it feels very nice. No problems. I mean, it's not really much to show you guys. You can't really see my fingers or anything, but I am playing with the controller now. Only just to fight it. As you know, very well. Damn. Well, I mean, that's Stay all forward. I really need to show you guys here. I'll, I'll back out of the match. You guys probably didn't even watch to this point of the video, but I mean, if you guys did, stick around to this part of the video. Thank you for watching, really. And please subscribe, like, comment, do whatever. Help me out, please. I mean, I'm at this current time of recording this video, I'm at 8 subscribers. So, any subscriber will help. I will notice, and I appreciate it. So, thank you guys for watching, and... Yeah, peace.